It's that time again, when I document years of my family's exciting adventures in a few minutes of video. And now, the wonders of 2020 and 21. In February, Teresa produced her version of Moliere's classic comedy, The Imaginary Invalid, which pokes fun at hypochondria. This was a month before hypochondria became the new normal. Around this time, I published my first picture book, which was adapted from a former award-winning story told by Aspen. In April, I hosted a virtual play festival called Six Feet Apart, which featured two of my plays and one of Teresa's. In May, my family performed some of our award-winning tall tales at the Story Crossroads Festival. I totally beat my dad in the fight. That's why I became the champion of the universe. Before I indulge in high fructose corn syrup and partially hydrogenated soybean oil, I think of George and listen to my conscience because I really don't want to end up with wooden teeth. In June, we sold our house of eight years and took the plunge into self-employment to help us realize our creative dreams. In July, we teamed up with my former parkour instructor to create Super Bowser Parkour, just cuz. I played Evil Mario, Teresa played Peach, and our kids were the Toads. So far, it's only had 50,000 views on YouTube. Come on, people. In August, our kittens gained international fame as they competed in WWC World Wrestling Cats, featuring some of the most ferocious predators in the feline world, ready to go head-to-head -head in the battle for glory. The fangs, the claws, the primal instinct. These elite competitors will face four intense challenges for the ultimate prize, a mountain of cat food. In September, we decided to start our own theater company. We planned out an entire year of productions, including a few shows that didn't exist yet, and got really busy. We've been busy since. In October, we premiered our first production of Take My Death Away, a Halloween musical, Teresa's long-standing passion project, for which I helped a little. When you write a play like this, you have a vague idea of what the characters will look and sound like. But to actually see them take on real faces and real voices and personalities that you never imagined is just so much fun. There's a lot of great moments in it. There's some pretty funny humorous parts and there's some pretty dramatic parts. Brilliant. It is absolutely brilliant. Yeah. And the music is so fun and the storyline is phenomenal. And It's powerful. Th it is. It's nothing like I've ever seen before or heard or been a part of. and. For me, it's been life-changing. In December, we threw a Jane Austen-themed murder mystery dinner party at a bed and breakfast hotel. Again, just cause. In January of 2021, we started our totally awesome youth theater program. We must go and conquer on a distant shore. Guide us in battle, you met us for. We'll go to Valhalla. We'll go to Valhalla. In February, I was hard at work recording the album for our upcoming musical, one of four albums I'd record this year, not including the music I composed for Scripture Explorers. Land of the South, a million lies spewed out of his mouth, a Malachiah. For Valentine's Day, we teamed up with friends to throw a 1920s themed dance, because we could. March marked the second full-scale production of my musical, Bums. This is a show that you don't want to miss. It's super fun. The music is fantastic. The dancing, it's amazing. It is so funny. A really high energy production. I'm certain you're gonna laugh. It is just such a fun, exciting show. The songs are so catchy. Just a lot of catchy tunes that you just don't hear anymore. Really good music and fantastic actors. In April, I hosted the 11th annual Utah's Biggest Liar Tall Tale Contest. Cause why not? June marked the second full-scale production of my musical, Valhalla, which was beyond awesome. It's been humbling to work with so many ridiculously talented people who helped bring my vision to life. In August, we premiered a brand new musical, The Lady of Sherwood. 
pumping out the script, the music, and the production on top of everything else we had going on proved to be crazy, yet rewarding. My rule of thumb? The more ambitious the deadline, the more the magic. Again, it was wonderful to work with so many talented people who helped us make dreams into reality. And so the journey continues until the fateful day when we all become Force Ghosts. It turns out that when you seize the day and don't let other people tell you what you can and cannot do, life is amazing. And as they say, <laughs>